Mm. Ah, good coffee. Hey, let me let me say hi to Bobo McGraw. And I'm sorry, Bobo McGraw, I forgot that you told me that your cousin was in that band Guggenheim Grotto, which is kind of an interesting name for an Irish band, because as far as I know, Guggenheim is like the Guggenheim Museum in LA, which I went to, which is really cool. And uh, they might have a grotto. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but uh, they're going to be in San Diego. Oh, and I forgot. It's in sometime in February. And um, uh, who knows? Maybe I, I don't get out much anymore. Uh, if I have the money or I'm in the mood, maybe I'll go check it out. But I did, I did enjoy their music. And so it's a small world in a way. So maybe I'll go down there and try to meet the band and go, Hey, man, I know your cousin from YouTube. <laughs> he calls himself Bobo McGraw. Oh, yeah. There's so many people on YouTube I'd like to meet in the real. I, I, really, I, really, I really mean that. Um, and so, and what else happened this week? Let me tell you a little story about something that happened this week. There's my friend uh, on YouTube, Overanalyze, and uh, she has this piece of uh, sculpture, this artwork that she won a long time ago in a contest. Mm, excuse me. And, uh, and this sculpture is just so freaky. <laughs> it is freaky, it's gothic. I mean, I thought about making a little short video of it, but, you know, Fez Night, it's too much work for me to edit a piece in there. Maybe I might. If enough of you show interest, maybe I'll post a separate video of it this week. And uh, maybe some of you might want to take it off her hands, maybe. Okay? You never know. But it's it's by an artist named Greg Bailey. And uh, he's still teaching. He's an art professor still. And, um, and it's very graphic. It features these very, like, scary... A uh, nude couple, kind of like with their backs together, like this sort of, and their genitalia up in the air, and uh, and then there's this giant, just this giant penis near the bottom of it, like arching up towards like this area that was a mailbox. So it's sort of like found art too, and it's all black, and you look inside the mailbox, and it's all scary, and there's weird stuff in there, and um, and so. Uh, uh, Overanalyze. she needed to find a home for this. She's had it for a long time, and and it was time, there was pressure for, say, let's get rid of that thing. <laughs> so so I said, well, I live, I live on, on Antique Row, close by Antique Row. Hey, somebody out there has been dropping my full name, who I think is a friend of a friend, and this person got mad at me. And so, uh, and so he decided in a very, very petty way to go create a sock account, which is gone, by the way, which I'm, I'm glad. But this, this troll, who, who is a friend of one of my friends, and he must have got this person, asked and found out my name. I mean, I'm not thinking it's the usual suspects because the style was completely different. Um, I, I, this person is, is a very intelligent person, but he's able to, I think, disguise his, his words and make himself look like a crazy nutter instead and uh, and uh, that was really really petty for you to be angry with me I said I wanted to apologize to you but you said don't bother apologizing and when somebody says don't bother apologizing well then what what are you gonna do I'm sorry well, I told you not to apologize <laughs> it only shows that you're a worm you know come on God so anyway it was re really really spineless and cowardly thing to do you know, to do that sort of thing, drop my name all over like that. Anyway, I live, I live by Antique Row, and I told, uh, I told Overanalyze, hey, sure, hey, man, I think I know one, one place that might handle this piece and, uh, uh, you know, take it on consignment. And, uh, and I, I showed it to him, and he was like, oh, he was pretty excited. He's like, oh, this is really interesting. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll take it, I'll take it. And I was like, great. Because I was really worried that he has so much stuff he wouldn't even have room for it. And besides, it's so controversial. I told him it's controversial. Oh, no, no, I'm okay with it, you know. And the, the guy, you know, the guy was, you know, pretty like camp, you know. So, oh, I'm thinking of all the things he could do with it. Or it would be great at a party, you know, and stuff. And uh, so then like two days went by. And I got a phone call. I got a voicemail. Uh, could you please come, come back and... and take the sculpture. It's just like mothers and, you know, bringing their kids into the store and these boys are like pointing at it and laughing at it. And 
the moms got all traumatized, so we had to like cover it up. <laughs> <laughs> Which is funny to me. I'd go, didn't you see this coming? Come on. You know what? You know who comes in your store? I thought I was going to suggest you need to put it like in a section, like an adults only section or something, you know? But anyway, I thought that was funny, but it kind of bummed me out because I thought, oh man, I was going to help. I was going to help my friend uh, get rid of the sculpture and, uh, you know, and find a home. And he put a $500 price tag on it, you know? And, uh, you know, he seemed, he thought it was doable. And I, I don't care if it would have sat there for six months. Well, and overanalyzed my father for how long it sat. But I was figuring, hey, you know, sit there indefinitely. And uh, as long as it's, uh, you know, uh, someplace being seen, it's, it means something. And now it's back in my garage. <laughs> so there's, there's my little foray into the art world again you know it's amazing and so uh all right well and i'm kind of looking through the paper here i was here's the front top here's the front page billions billions spent yet data systems in peril oh what is that the state prints all of its paychecks for example on 70s era computers that are in danger of failing you know that's a problem i heard somewhere that there's like information that from satellites that NASA sent up and uh, and it's like 70% of it we don't know what's on it you know from this other era because it's on it's all in some sort of a format that we don't have the machinery to read anymore you know you know that's that's crazy excuse me I have to wipe my nose a little bit ah yeah that's better I had a tissue handy right there <laughs> So, uh, uh, yeah, so welcome to the wonderful world of digital. You know, we're like throwing out our DVs to get Blu-ray. We're throwing out our, uh, our uh, floppy disks, you know, and our, our CDs and our CDRs and, and uh, you know, and everything's going to be like downloadable and, oh man, such a pain. You know, sometimes I hate technology. I really do. Especially when, when you don't have the money to keep up and you're like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, so anyway, I'm one of those persons. I liked it when I was sort of thought I was, you know, somewhat at least only maybe a year behind. You know, I like that feeling. Wow, I have to go get a napkin or something. I don't know what's going on. Oh, excuse me. Now, normally most people that'd be the part they edit out. Ah, oh. I almost feel like I should go get some more coffee. And um, 